was this moment. Little elderly lady came up to me and threw her arms around my neck crying. And she said, thank you for coming. I've been waiting 20 years for the church to show up. When Wayne Smith dedicated his life to saving other lives during the height of the HIV epidemic, he's seen a lot of changes through his prevention and testing work at Central Baptist Bearded. We're seeing treatment uh, go, go from uh, uh, tons of pills that made people so sick they couldn't function to many people with HIV now take one pill once a day or one injection every two months with virtually no side effects. This week, he's seen yet another change, but an unexpected one. It was a gut punch. Reports came out confirming Governor Bill Lee's administration's plans to pass on funding from the CDC, which pays for HIV surveillance, testing, and prevention services. In a statement Thursday night, Governor Lee's office tells me his administration is, quote, examining areas where it can decrease in reliance on federal funding and assume increased independence. Smith worries what this could mean for the 17% of Tennesseans reportedly living with HIV unknowingly. We want to identify those people and get them tested because if we can get them tested and get them in care, they can stay healthy for the rest of their life and not ever get that dreaded acronym AIDS. Officials didn't say where the state would get the money to cover prevention costs or what groups would be impacted. For now, they only tell us, quote, the state is committed to maintaining the same level of funding while more efficiently and effectively serving vulnerable populations, such as victims of human trafficking, mothers and children, and first responders. So it's now in this moment. It says his fight ramps up. We don't need to go backwards. In Knoxville, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. The state's plans are still in the early stages, so groups like Central Baptist will still have to rely mostly on private donations to continue their HIV prevention and treatment work.